I want to know, was there ever something a guest said on either of the kayfabe commentary shows that genuinely did shock you? Because I know the research was so vast that you guys did for these. Was there anything, anything that did surprise you? Nothing that comes to mind. We were usually pretty well prepared. Oh, Roddy Piper uh, mentioned that he didn't like Pat Patters. Which surprised me. I said, oh, you guys worked together so long. And he went into uh, an event when he was a young man that he was very uncomfortable with. The, the clip is out there, I think, isolated on YouTube somewhere. It's in the trailer for Timeline, the history of WWE 1984 with Roddy Piper. That was shocking. Yeah. And uh, some uh, an improper moment with Pat when, when Roddy was a young guy breaking in. And um, uh, that shocked me. It... Uh, Roddy's bravery in saying it, I guess, was to be admired, but I know there was blowback to him from Connecticut. And um, after that, I, uh, the, uh, what was that series? Legends House was released, which yeah. was a show on. The WWE Network at the, uh, the time, still available, I think, um, where they put a bunch of wrestlers in a house to live together for like a month. Pat and Roddy were there in the same house. Now, this was shot before my interview with Roddy, but released after. Okay. Which is significant because Pat hadn't seen Roddy talk about this. Okay. But as I watched it, and I... Invite everyone to go back and correct me if I'm wrong. The interaction between the two of them was almost nil. Sitting in a group and everyone's talking and deciding what to do for a project they're given or whatever on the show. I don't know. But, you know, where you see Tony Atlas talking to Hacksaw Jim Duggan or Jimmy Hart comes in and talks to Roddy. Roddy was never alone talking with Pat. Rewind, recap, relive. For over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.